I looked in the microscope if I do an experiment, to make an experiment worthwhile, worth doing. I want to have results that nobody else has seen before. And I've succeeded in doing that all my life. Yeah. For over five decades, Dr. Charles LeBlanc has been using radioactive markers to increase our understanding of anatomy and cell biology. I started by injecting, that was in 1939, a long time ago, injecting radioactive iodine. And at that time, we had only an isotope with a 25-minute half-life, which means that every 25 minutes, the radioactivity decreases by half. So by rushing and injecting the animals very fast and taking their organs, that's when I demonstrated that radioiodine is taken into the thyroid. After the war, he developed a new technique that allowed radioactively labeled tissues and cells to be seen under the microscope. Fifty years ago, I worked out a technique which I call radioautography, which is a way to localize radioactive elements in the tissues. By the way, in theory, it's very simple. In put a layer of photographic emulsion on top of the section so that here's the photographic emulsion, so that the rays that come from the section bump out the photographic emulsion and the silver of the emulsion is precipitated and it appears like black grains that you can see in the electron microscope. Radioautography allowed Dr. LeBlanc to study cell function and development and to observe many dynamic biological processes. I remember um, when I first presented the idea that I said that all the cells synthesize protein continually. At that time, people thought the liver was making protein, perhaps the pancreas. But all the other cells received proteins from the liver. You see. So when I first said, no, all the cells themselves synthesize protein. People said, this is an artifact of your technique, radiotography, you know, you never know. Well, then I demonstrated it was not an artifact. Well, then, yes, we know why, because you use growing animals. So the growing animals have to do that. But, uh, this is, wouldn't be true in adult animals. So I took animals that were adult, even removed the thyroid gland to completely stop growth. And the turnover was exactly the same, no difference. In other words, it's a basic phenomenon, basic fact of life. Well, a few years later, people said, oh, everybody knows that all the cells <laughs> As chemists began to develop more and more radioactive substances of biological interest, Dr. LeBlanc was able to study the function and turnover of cells lining the interior wall of the intestines by using radioactive thymidine. Today, while continuing research with sugars, proteins, and DNA, Dr. LeBlanc is recognized as Canada's leader in cell biology and anatomy. It's an exciting future for biology. I wish I were 40 years younger. <laughs>